Hi guys, welcome to Angel Whispers, Vanessa here speaking and today we have another reading and actually this is the continuation of the part 3 of number 4 Angel's requested readings and because I wasn't able to finish it last time due to lack of time and as well as shift of schedule and the Archangel said to me that currently right now there's a lot of things going on with Sushant's case and a lot of twists and turns in media but they told me never give up your hope that the truth may prevail even though these people that are running away from their own crime from their own sin seems like um, they are distorting everything from evidences to witnesses so let's see why they want to this reading so the archangel said to me that don't give up hope continue on praying continue on wanting these people to be safe because the angels say um the, the evil entities are at work they they are trying to make people believe the wrong things okay don't let the media distort you trust the right the right platform according to the angels those that are righteous are the ones that you should felt thrown with okay if you know that something is up on a certain media don't watch it ever again okay that's what they're gonna say to you but if there is something that is really resonating with the news okay and you felt drawn to it that it's positive it's something that speaks the truth then stick with it just don't pay attention to those people that are full of lies that can easily be bribed those are the not the right media to depend on or they are not the right source the archangel said to me that saint Gabriel is trying the best that the angels can to to make these liars speak the truth because there's no way they can express themselves if they keep on lying if they can continue changing their lines the angels say they cannot lie in media they cannot lie in the lawyers once that they are fried on they might forcefully speak so that's what happened to Sandeep according to the angels so far the angels say to me that what's going on with the sisters right now they are in deep um, broken due to the fact that one of the sisters wants CBI and they are not yet ready that's what I'm sensing but then unfortunately it will push forward because one of the sisters wants it okay and I feel like whomever wants a CBI is someone whom is upset and of what's going on with Sushant and the sisters have been arguing over and over again and they are falling into their own trap the angels say so let them be let them spread out fake news and post instagram so forth but the truth will prevail and they cannot stop people from believing on it once the truth come out and these lawyers are taking some time okay um to to put the pieces together but in the end they will probe whom really did it i know that some people are eager to know who really the killer are okay i know that um i posted it before right and actually on my past video i noticed that to be honest with you although a lot of people watch it a lot of people doubt it and now i see that they are so concerned of the witnesses and i'm really happy about it but um i also want to make readings of such but they asked me to finish this first since this is already pending and they say that it's important okay during this time so anyway is there anything else angels so they asked me to do this set of readings because right now um they are influencing people on 
you know, focusing on the wrong things at the same time. So I don't know why this is more important, the one that I'm gonna release now or this video um, is what I mean. But let's see, okay? We may get some information by these videos, by this set of questions that the angels ask on, okay? So anyway, is there anything else, angels? So they say to me that there's a lot of regret on the end of the sisters of Sushant, that they shouldn't kill their own brother, and now they are confused what to do next, and so first just to hide their crime. And they know exactly that they cannot fool people um, because I feel like they are falling on the wrong people, I feel. Like be, some people are against them, to be honest. And I feel like there's someone that they spoke to that um, doesn't like them or doesn't want to help them. And I feel like that person suspect a lot on them. I don't know whom it was, but I feel like it's kind of a new energy. And that's what the angels asked me. Actually, if you ask names on me, I don't really know whom it was. Okay, they just give me clues, but they never tell the name. That's what I'm going to say to you all. Okay, so I can only mention name if the angels say, but if they don't say any name, I just need to respect. Probably one day it may come first, but right now, um, what? What's needed is the truth. They keep on distorting the truth. That's why they are putting up videos of different situations, different person, because it is important or in demand right now. For the researchers, the angels say, it's not basically because they want people to know, but they want to trigger those people that investigates in this situation in order to help them, okay? So that's the benefit of this, you know, video and also to enlighten the people out there because a lot of people are still brainwashed, the angels say. And the angels tell also that there's a lot of people that are still prideful and think that, you know, um, what they believe in is true and those kind of people of course cannot take that tr the real honest truth all right so is there anything else they say that's it so anyway let's proceed on with the readings so for the first part we're gonna ask what does Rayan knows about the following people so let's begin on with Sushan's family so let's see. Angels and guides, please provide guidance for the cards so we may know what does Rhea knows about the family of Sushant. Um, please show to us the overall theme of this reading. Thank you. Three more shuffle. They say, I have a feeling that Sidhart, um is kind of like a family to Sushant. I really sense that the energy vibe of the roommates is rising rather than the family. I feel like the family is out of the picture. Um, the angels say that feeling that you live in an apartment and you're far away from home and the feeling is that you're not really that close to them. By heart, the angels say. Another detail. All right. One more. Okay. <laughs> they keep on asking me to shuffle. It is to cleanse the energy, the angels say. I'm just glad that I have guides because if I don't have guides... Um, probably I won't shuffle much and I just keep on going because in some cases, you know, um, example, if you're a reader, you don't have a guide and you just shuffle in a time that you want, right? So what's going to happen to you? You're not sure if still the cards are kind of having negative vibe. So that's 
that's good to have guides okay to know how to listen to your own guidance because if you don't listen then you will have um less accurate readings or your readings just doesn't match about the situation and that's another reason why some readers really you know it's not accurate with regards to Sushant's reading. And another reason the angels say is that um, some readers just use this kind of readings to get attention. But if you have a good intention to help and the divine asks you to do that, then the angels say that is when your readings will get accuracy another shuffle because the angels say if you do a reading that's against the divine's will for sure your reading is black or it's a dis distort another they tell so we'll check The Archangel say pay attention to the red flags. If somebody is acting strange in this case situation, then you must see that already as something that you need to take cautious with. So, one more. Okay. So, let's see with the tarot what it has to say. Angels and guides, please provide guidance for the cards so we may know. What does Rayan knows about Sushant's family? The Archangel Gabriel say that the family is doing the best that they can to make Rhea fall into their own trap. I feel like they are eyeing on Rhea a lot, especially social media of Rhea. And on Kita too, they are eyeing on both, you know, lovers of Sushant. One more. So, I feel not right. My, I felt dizzy with this. Okay, so the angels say to me, they are still trying to block readers from knowing what's really up. Whenever you do such chance reading, if ever you're a tarot reader, you, you sense the wrong things. Okay, that's another re reason why some readers, you know, um, doesn't really, um, it's still clouded, like pointing on the wrong people. So this is the overall energy that's affecting the reading. So what is the outcome? And these readers might know or might learn to understand that their reading doesn't match at all, the angels say. Because some of the readers have been eaten on by pride, thinking that their reading resonates with what's happening. So the archangels say to me that right now there's a blockage again that they put out there so that people will still be distorted. But the angels say those who encounter my, my readings that angels say that those are kind of lighting up the false one more the angels say those whom are creating a distort they have manifestation issues right now like karma strike them during August period, 
because remember karma are hitting on august that's why i put forward a karma reading during july time but the karma that i posted on july time period okay um the the recent one okay um is pointing towards august karma times so those who did you wrong will receive karma during august period till october according to the angels so anyway here is the overall energy that's affecting the reading so we got the eight of pentacles in reverse so what raya knows about the family is that sushant is not giving any anything towards the family okay any attention at all during the time that sushant was still with raya to be honest with you and i have a feeling here with the two of swords i'm i'm sensing like actually raya thinks that sushant doesn't want to give really for the family i feel like sushant is in confusion or kind of in a bad headspace to be honest with you whenever he thinks of the family okay vibe because i really feel like you know sushant kind of um doesn't want to argue that's what i'm sensing like um when i hold this card i feel dizzy to be honest with you all and i'm sensing that energy here now let's see what we have so let's say ace of pentacles and clarified by again the aces okay what is ace of pentacles ace of pentacles obviously here okay he is very close to off okay that's what raya thinks so like um so she don't want to share with information with regards to family matters to be honest with you all and i feel like so is kind of manifesting something new in his life and remember that before sushant died he he wants to marry raya right and unfortunately it didn't come through so what raya knows is that the family was against the marriage of them having a new beginning together something stable right so with the three of swords in reverse so i have a feeling here that sushant with the eight of wands took an action by leaving the family behind that's why he live away from the family and six of wands being here so i'm sensing like what he knows i'm sorry what she knows about the family is that you know this family is kind of prideful that's what she thinks okay and the family of course she's thinking like there's something wrong with the family um i feel like you know raya thinks that this family did this to sushant okay with the four of wands being in reverse because they don't want the marriage to happen and they want to stop sushant from fulfilling his dreams because six of wands is about success i feel like sushant really wants this new beginning but then because of the family they don't have it so i feel like raya thinks that the family of sushant really wants to um, make it look like it's raya who really killed sushant that's what she thinks of because they don't want sushant and raya to get married and we all know that if sushant got married what will happen is that um the abundance of sushant will also go to raya right and i'm sensing like what Raya knows is that the family is after money laundering or wanting to gain whatever Sushant gained because he is a successful man. That's what she thinks. And I feel like they are putting fingers on her because they are hiding what they did to Sushant. And I think Raya thinks that the family is the one who murdered okay and sushant of course deserve justice that's what she knows and with the eight of cups being in reverse here what she knows about the family is that they are playing games okay towards people just so that people will not discover them but i feel like um they can't manifest okay so in raya's perspective i have a feeling here that with the full being in reverse 
I feel like, you know, Sushant wasn't able to get rid much of the family. Why is it like that? Like, even though, let's say, Sushant ran away from his own family, um, he wasn't able to go away fully. Okay, what do you mean go away fully? Meaning, live somewhere away from the country, right? So, I'm sensing like Sushant still kind of undecisive, the angels say, to leave behind the, the industry. I really feel like, you know, um, Rayan knows that Sushant wants a life wherein they, they will be happy together. And I feel like, yeah, he's really planning to live um celebrity life. That's what um, Raya thinks. And then with the magician in reverse, I have a feeling here. What she knows about the family is that they have to do with Sushan's, Sushan's death. That's what I'm sensing here. Because they are in balance, see? Like um, they can't run away from the crime scene. I feel like... With the actions of the family of Sushan, they are acting strange. That's also in Rhea's perspective. Like they are in balance. And with the magician in reverse, they keep on distorting. Okay, But then I feel like whatever they did is that they are still odd or strange. That's what Rhea's thinking. And this family of Sushant is kind of someone that feels like they don't want Rhea and Sushant together. So that's the reasoning why Rhea thinks that this family is really against, you know, their marriage together. So let's see with the outcome. So with the Eight of Wands being in reverse, what Rhea knows about the family is that they're not taking any action or immediate response when Sushant died. Okay, and they still continue believing that Sushant hung himself and she thinks that these people kind of distorted the truth, destroyed evidences so that she will be blamed and six of swords in reverse so that, you know, um, Rhea won't run away from what she did to Sushant in terms of financial. The angels say that um, Rhea thinks that the family really did it and they're kind of hiding the truth. So let's see with the charms. I feel like Rhea don't know much about the family to be honest because, you know, based on this reading, kind of Sushant is detached from the family. To begin with, okay? <clears throat> so, honestly speaking, my throat chakra hurt. Oh, and, you know, trying to sense Rhea. I have a feeling here that she is, you know, somebody that's still um, shy or can't speak. Another. Can't speak unless there are proofs, the angels say. That Sushant is innocent on suicide part because there's still a lot of questions with regards to it and obviously it looks like murder instead of suicide because she thinks that the family is the one who did it okay because we ask what does Rhea knows about the family so anyway justice will be served according to the angels so here are the charms so what we got here is that i don't know why again this one so i have a feeling here that Rhea loves sushan to be honest okay i feel like their connection is somehow put to the highest level wherein you know sushan decided to marry Rhea, and until now Rhea is feeling um depressed about sushan's death that's what i'm sensing here and i'm feeling look at that heart together and then justice so i have a feeling that yeah there will be justice and she thinks that you know she can bring justice to the table for sushant because she believe in the lawyer's power to the tech whom is you know telling the truth versus the lie because i feel like raya is kind of somebody who will speak the truth that's what i'm sensing here 
and she knows that these people are playing mind games and she has been watchful over a lot of social media account and even youtubers according to the angels and i feel like with the hope yeah she has that hope that justice will be served for sushant and i feel like she's thinking about the family of sushant as someone who's kind of tricking people that they are sweet they are loving and caring for sushant when all honesty is that these people are trying to distort the reality and she thinks that the family is evil as well and with the love being here so i'm sensing like the family don't like it that sushant was tied out to this woman and with this one i'm sensing like it's more on sexual to be honest with you sexual partnership with sushant and raya and even the friend of sushant which is her roommate thinks that it's a sexual partnership it's not really the true love yes there I say that there is love, but then I feel like it's more on sexual, okay? Because even on my other readings with Rhea, I really, to be honest with you, okay? I don't really see that Rhea loves Sushant there. I more sense her love for money to begin with, okay? But then I really sense that there is a sexual attraction with them and I feel like they are focusing too much on what Rhea gives with regards to, you know, um, the medication. But I'm really sensing like, um, there is something that Sushant drunk that really caused him to be weak. Okay. But I really feel like that is what, you know, um, he drunk during that day that he died. I feel like, um, the cook is nowhere to be found that's what i'm sensing as well so i really feel like you know raya thinks that this family of sushant is trying to distort the media it's now turning like a comic book like a nonsense and i feel like with this one so i feel like she's trying to recover what she knows with regards to sushant and his family and i feel like she is also browsing some of sushant's stuff and that's what i'm sensing and to be honest with you, Sushant is really in love with Rhea, but I'm really sensing like it's more than because of the love spell that Rhea casted on him. And then with this one, um, I feel like there is really a new person that will speak up. I'm not sure whom it is because I just noticed that it keeps on coming back in my reading that there is Larry Mar. And Larimar symbolizes new person, okay, or new hope, the angels say. And what Rhea knows about this family is that they are very dominant, demanding individuals. And Rhea is actually angry with them because there are proof that, you know, um, Sushant is really murdered. And it's not really um, suicide, right? Because these Asti people are hiding what they did. So with this one, I'm really feeling that Rhea has high hopes that, you know, um, there will be justice. But I feel like she's still healing in the healing process from Sushan's death. That's what I'm sensing. And I feel like she finds it strange for the family to recover that fast and, you know, post something you know, weird, okay? Because they're acting strange, really. That's what Rhea thinks, that this family of Sushant is deceitful with a unicorn here, not being honest, authentic. They are creating a facade out there because remember that unicorns are not real. And if, you know, you believe in unicorn, then that is when you believe, right? So sadly, you know, some people really follow whatever these people are creating a facade on that the stars are involved the bollywood and so forth because they're pointing fingers and it takes people to realize you know what is the truth because i really feel like people are getting confused and of course um pointing fingers on her because of her vein because she's money driven individual who loves money rather than really love sushant 
Even in my reading, it comes forth like that, okay? So anyway, let's see with the cards here. So what we have is that what she thinks about the family of Sushant is that they are, you know, kind of playing this roller coaster ride, okay, about the media. That's what she noticed, how the me media is being paid on by this family of Sushant. So that they can hide away, they can run away from what they did to Sushant. And I feel like Raya somehow has been, you know, um, jealous over these people because to be honest with you, they can manipulate individual and a lot of people still believe it's Bollywood and so forth. So I have a feeling here that there is somebody that's keeping an eye on Raya and Kita and some of the friends of Sushant, I think that there's spies everywhere and they don't know whom to trust anymore. And what I'm seeing here is that with this one, so I feel like she thinks that Sushant, okay, can't be successful with the family. That's what she thinks. That's why Sushant, you know, ran away from the family because I feel like that's another reason why Sushant was stressed out. That's why Sushant distanced himself from the family because the family really is the one who did it to Sushant and until now Rhea is crying over Sushant and whatever she did in the past, I feel like she also regrets of, you know, overspending the money of Sushant. So, yeah, she cannot run away from her crime, to be honest with you. Like, even if Rhea will be, you know, not guilty on killing Sushant, to be honest with you, she will still go to jail because she wastes Sushant's money. Okay, so anyway, here are the themes. So you got the why and to be fair. So I have a feeling here that Rhea, what she knows about the family is that she's thinking why is it this family seems like, um, but I can't hardly speak. I'm, I'm almost to speak in Tagalog. Okay, so anyway. Just to be fair here, what I'm sensing is that they are acting like fair, like um, they're still balanced. Like they are not someone who questions what happened to Sushant's death. They didn't investigate. They didn't, um, instead of keeping the apartment away from people um, so that the evidences are still safe, they didn't do that for Sushant. And that's another reason why this family's action is very questionable. And Rhea thinks that, you know, Sushant deserves justice, okay, because she knows that Sushant was still um, not that peace and everyone else are. Okay, and with a young, so she thinks that Sushant is really faithful towards her. And yeah, it's a passionate connection, obviously. And upon holding that card, I felt hot. And with a tribe in both ways. So I'm really sensing like Raya is actually confused with the family if they really love Sushant or not. Because, you know, based on what she knows about is that you know, Raya knows that Sushant is stunned himself, right? And we a co-create in both ways. So I have a feeling here that it is because of this one, okay? Um, I forgot where did I put that two of swords because there is indecisiveness here in Sushant's um, case that she don't, I'm sorry, he don't know if he would want his family back or not. That's what's going on here. And with a fork in the road in both ways. So obviously, these people, the family of Sushant, is trying to distort the truth. Okay, even if it's obvious that these people are giving us some hints, okay, with whatever they're acting on. And because until now, they keep on trying to distort by posting or by um, asking me to, to post certain things. And what did Rhea know about the family is that I feel like they don't want Sushant to be happy. That's what she thinks. 
and she knows that you know Sushant left his past behind. She thinks that Sushant loves her more than she. I'm sorry, more than he loves his own family. And with the observer and the time for a nap. So I'm sensing here that this family of Sushant keep an eye on media and make sure they're feeling anxious to be honest. When all honesty, this is another reasoning. I feel like Rhea speak with the lawyers and this is so far what the lawyers of Rhea see about the family is that they are very anxious instead of, you know, being like this. Then they are being questioned why they are distorting the media. The more that they put out information, the more that they are acting strange. Seems like they are hiding the truth from the world. So I feel like Ray is being aware about it, not because that's what she knows since from the beginning, but because I feel like the lawyer spoonful spoon feed her with information based on what the lawyer see in his own perspective. Okay, remember that Raya hired a lawyer. That's very, what they call this, very smart, okay, and very prideful according to the angels and understanding to about the facts and watchful over the actions of everyone. So that's why there's observer there. So yeah, I feel like it's the lawyer whom is keeping an eye on tabs of the sisters of this family of Sushant about their actions and actually you know um the lawyer is kind of helping raya also to recover because of course raya's heart is broken since you know the wedding didn't push forward and raya needs to be in this time for nap stage that's what's going on with her and everyone put a blame on her like she's the one whom did it because guys to be honest with you what will benefit raya of killing sushant because, you know, even if we say that she used Sushant for money, you know, if she killed Sushant, then she will not have that, right? And if she really, you know, um, wants to kill Sushant, she could have done that after the marriage, right? So anyway, the one who will benefit after Sushant's death, obviously, is the family. So they're just pointing towards Rhea on something she didn't do, perhaps, okay? And what else? So the angels say, relax, have faith in God, that truth will prevail. But unfortunately for Rhea, actually, she might end up going to jail because it's a high proof that she still, you know, get money with, uh, you know, what happened to Sushant, right? So is there anything else? So they say that, um, keep tracks or tabs about the media. Even the lawyers are saying that, you know, these people involved are trying to distort the media, which is making people go crazy. And as I noticed so far, okay, in the comments section, that uh, some people are still kind of believing in media. My gosh, guys, okay. And then you will go to my channel, your confused again i don't know what to say to you guys okay that's why i start from the beginning please okay watch what you're watching okay what i mean by that if you feel like it's a distort don't watch it ever again put it on your black list list okay please to avoid confusion and trust only channels that speak the truth okay so is there anything else they say, relax, have faith in God. They keep on repeating. And they tell that there's a lot of things going on with the manipulation of the sisters. So just list it up and let, let them be. They will fall into their own trap if they don't stop. So is there anything else? They say that's it. So let's see about the next Alright, so let's see about the second. What does Rhea know about the roommates of Sushant? So we'll see. Angels and guides, please provide guidance for the cards so that we may know what does Rhea knows about the roommates of Sushant. 
Please show to us the overall theme of this reading. Thank you. Another shuffle, they say. Okay. Oh, dear, see? I think that Rhea is conflicted. I feel like she... she... I don't know why I keep on thinking about Samuel. Probably she's also thinking of Samuel. She's currently gathering information. And some informations are misleading towards Samuel. And she feels defeated about it. That's what they want to say. Because no one is kind of telling the truth. Especially the media, according to the angels. And even the lawyers think that they are distorting the media itself. So that truth may not come out. And I feel like the lawyers are actually thinking about that. I feel like there's a lot of lawyers. Could be from the show of, you know, where Sandeep was fried, okay, or roasted. But we'll check with the Dixit cards what it has to say. Angels and guides, please provide guidance for the cards so we may know. Um, about... What Rhea knows with regards to the roommates of Sushant. So, I have a feeling here that, you know, Rhea thinks that the sisters of Sushant trying to get a read of the innocent, the angels say. And she thinks that these people are at risk of speaking their truth. And I feel like she's nervous about it, to be honest. I'm sensing nervousness. And of course, these people, you know, the one who murders Sushant is against their marriage. And these people are killers. They have a tendency to kill the witnesses too. And I feel like she is paying attention about Samuel. Um, because Samuel is a close friend of Sushant. That's what I'm sensing. I feel both Samuel is close to Sushant. There's two Samuels, right? But the angels say, hmm. There's a lot of sadness here. I just sense. So the other was in the hospital. I feel like if they don't take an action, Sandeep will again do something. So that's why CBI is highly important. Another. Okay, so anyway, let's see with the tarot what it has to say. Angels and guides, please provide guidance for the cards so we may know. What does Raya know about the roommates of Sushant? I feel like they are happy for Sushant about the marriage. They're not against that. One more. Okay. So, let's see. Ooh, jumpy cards. Okay. 
All right, so this is the overall energy that's affecting the reading. And what is the outcome? I don't know why I keep on sensing Sandeep, even though we didn't ask about him. So we will clarify. Angels and guides, please provide guidance for the cards so we may know what's behind the cards presented here. Please help us clarify so we may be able to understand. I feel intense or tension. One more. So the Archangel said to me that this person, the other Samuel, cannot be seen in media because that person is actually not talking, not speaking. So we'll see what else. All right. So this is the overall energy that's affecting the reading. So what we have here is that, um, what does Rhea knows about the roommates is that they are someone whom Sushant loves, okay? They are innocent. They will never kill Sushant. So that's what Rhea thinks about these roommates, that they will not create murder. And she was thinking, or she has this depression that the witnesses will be killed. That's what she thinks. Because they are light towards the darkness, okay? And they are witnesses, obviously strong witnesses, because with the Knight of Pentacles, they are seeing the money angle here. Like whomever kills Sushant is after the abundance of Sushant. And with the Nine of Chalices here, I really feel like those people really want Sushant to be happy. He really wants his dream to be what do you call this for Sushant? That's what I'm sensing. And I feel like Sushant distanced himself from actually reality with family or some circles that are not really healthy for him. That's what um, Sushant did. So about the roommates of Sushant, on the other hand, so the other one cannot be bright. Okay. And I feel here that, you know, this person whom is manipulating these roommates, you know, I feel like the roommate of Sushant is actually somebody that runs from the media, okay? And also, um, this person cannot be, what they call this, cannot be bribed. I feel like still suffering from the loss of their friend. And I'm sensing like all of the roommates of Sushant is actually haven't moved on yet. And this is the sisters of Sushant is trying to get rid of the witnesses okay they are making sure that you know justice may not be served that's what's going on i feel like all the roommates of Sushant is at risk that's what i'm sensing with a fall in reverse that's what Rhea knows and i feel like she's worried with samuel to be honest with you all so yeah and with the four of ones in reverse so i think that it's mostly a girl whom really did this to Sushant. that is real i feel like this person is also grilling the witnesses okay i feel like i really sense that there is something wrong with us somewhere 
because I feel like the friends of Sushant is actually against the sisters of Sushant. That's what I'm seeing here. So with the page of ones, that's what she knows. And she thinks that, you know, Siddharth has been beat down by these sisters as well. Okay, since that tower C, since they did something to Sushant and hide the proofs towards others. Um, that's what's going on here. So I feel like the sisters didn't realize that by being like this to Siddharth is making these people even more drawn towards them rather than with Siddharth because in the first place the angels say Siddharth gave a strong statement before they control over Siddharth which prove them that if ever they will kill Siddharth this is what she thinks then the king of wands I'm a feeling here that they will be blamed over the death of Siddharth if ever they did it and Siddharth on the other hand um really really tried to to block or try to rescue Sushant during the time that Sushant will die. That's what she knows, okay? And Sid Heart on the other hand don't wanna give up, okay? Give up on fighting for justice for Sushant to be honest, because this person is a righteous man. That's what um, Raya thinks about Sid Heart, and this person cannot be bribed. That's what she knows. And with a magician and the two of pentacles, I feel like Sid Heart somehow is somebody that really, you know, is not somebody that stops their marriage. That's what I'm sensing. And this person right now is you know, telling lies because he was controlled over by the family of Sushan. So that's what Rhea thinks so far. Then let's see about the outcome. Outcome is the fool in upright. So I feel here that Sid Hartwell took that leap of faith. Okay, to... Hmm. Feel like someone will fight him. That's what I'm sensing here. But it will take him a leap of faith to speak the truth. That's why I feel like he's kind of holding back. And Rhea thinks that um, she can't control Siddharth. That's what she thinks. Because she's thinking what will happen if Siddharth will fall into the trap of these sisters. Of Sushant of the Threats. See? Because there's somebody else out there that will for sure kill Siddharth if ever. He will take that leap of faith to speak the truth. And actually, Rhea is having anxiety about these people that are murderers, okay? Because they are still out there trying to spy and trying to distort the truth towards others and speaking their truth with the King of Swords. And she's losing evidences a lot, the angels say. So with the Nine of Pentacles being here, so what does she know about, you know, the roommates? What she knows about the roommates is that they are very cooperative over the both of them, Sushant and, you know, Rhea. And with the Ten of Wands, I feel like Siddharth right now is running away because of the burden of getting killed. So he tried to um, be outside in, you know, Rhea's box. But I mean Rhea's box in the case of Rhea because of the threatened life, because of the family of Sushant, all right? But this person knows everything that cannot distort um, what the confusion has been happening in the media. That's why I suggest you guys don't follow the news because even the news are distorted. Just follow, you know, what really makes you feel like it's the truth. So anyway, let's see about the charms, what it has to say. I don't know why in this reading there's a lot of noises. I just noticed that.
Alright, so one more. Okay. So these are the charms. So what we got here is that with this one, obviously, you know, she thinks that the roommates of Sushant is someone that is very close to Sushant. Sushant loves his roommates and even the roommates love Sushant. That's what she knows. And until now, they have been suffering from depression. And since I noticed that this is kind of like this, so I feel like she is aware that Siddharth is being controlled over by these people that are the murderers trying to make him stop from speaking and that's why you know he can't speak his truth that's what he knows so far and these guys are still healing from the death of Sushant and they are nurturers that's what she thinks of the friends of Sushant and they are sweet as well and you know, kind of right now, Sid Hart needs to play um, the game of these sisters, of what they tell him to do because his life was on trouble. And there's some certain things that I feel like she's still holding on towards the statement of Sid Hart, to be honest, because she thinks it's authentic. And I feel like she's still lucky to have it. And I feel like she thinks that Sushant is very lucky to have those close friends. Okay. But then sadly, you know, they, their life was um, in a big mess right now because of the, um, what you call this, because of what's going on with the news, with I'm being involved over this case situation of Sushant. So I feel like yeah, there's really love between Sushant and the friends. Okay, the roommates. Alright, so with this one, I'm sensing like this arrow is getting elsewhere. Like um, someone is trying to distort whatever is, you know, Sid Hart mentioned. Because these people that that kind of controlling Sushant is somebody also is playing games on media so that the truth may not come out. So, yeah, I really think that there will be justice, okay? I feel like these people, um, Sid Hart and other roommates really want this for Sushant, to be honest. They are loyal friends of Sushant and they're somebody that can, that can be trusted, okay? And I strongly feel like, yeah, there is really a poison, to be honest with you guys, that Sushan took before he passed away. And it's not something that Rhea gave, okay? And then with this one, I'm sensing that the wise will know. Okay, obviously, and the smart people will know because based on the actions of the sisters, it's very questionable, okay? They are a liar. They are manipulators. And I think that Sushant's friends also keep an eye on the journals of Sushant, to be honest. And I feel like, yeah, these people love Sushant. And that's what Rhea knows. They're still emotional about the death of Sushant. But sadly, you know, this really... I feel like it's really sisters who try to manipulate, okay, the the situation, the roommates, because of the flower and this um, dominancy, the crown, all right? So let's check with this set of cards. So what we got here is that, you know, the roommates of Sushant actually is being watched or, you know, there's no improvement in the case because these murderers are trying to run away and stopping the witnesses and i have a feeling here that yeah look at what happened to the roommates they're being controlled and they don't like it the roommates don't like it because these roommates are aware that whomever stopping them is someone who's distorting the truth because these people are the ones who really killed Sushant and they are playing mind games over others that they have been crying but to be honest you know they are really evil they are hiding the truth from people 
Okay, and they are manipulating the media so that people will fall for it, so that they will never know the truth, and they play pretend to be good people even though they're evil, and they are, see, they are distorting a lot of people, and those who fall for it will have this problem of not knowing the truth anymore. Okay, based on the roommates, all right. So the roommates actually wanna run away from these people. To gain some peace. And I feel like they really want to speak for Sushant. But then unfortunately, they are being blocked from doing it. From speaking their truth. And the lawyers knows that. Okay. Knows the true colors of these sisters. That they try to manipulate. They try to put a pile of, you know, um, dishonesty. Just to run away from their trouble. And they plan to trap those people the witnesses so that they may not speak the truth okay see and i feel like these witnesses look at what happened to their roommates like um the roommates are really in danger to be honest with you all because these people okay um they're distorting the media to the point that they are forgetting about the witnesses. And I feel like it's already too late because I feel like what happened to the witnesses is that they are being observed by these people. Okay? That's why their life is, you know, is stressed out. Okay? And I feel like people don't know the truth because they have been distorted by media. Okay, so that's why, that's another reason why people just realize the truth when it's already have been done that this individual, the roommates of Sushant was in danger and they're now, you know, questioning what happened to the roommates and so forth. And, you know, these sisters of Sushant really is hiding because this roommates knows the truth of what this person did towards Sushant. So anyway, what's going on here is that, to be honest with you all, when I release the Who Killed Sushant reading, honestly speaking, a lot of people comment there that they think the roommates are the one who did it. Okay? And now they are confused. Now they are worried with the roommates. I don't know... If I'm going to be angry with these certain people who follow a lot of media and now questioning, I don't really know with them. Because look at that. The murderers are running away. Okay. Running away with Sushant's stuff. Okay. They killed Sushant, saw Sushant's stuff, and still they, they are not awakened. What's going on? Why is it Sushant's, you know, um, burial came right away? Okay. Without a chance for the fans to at least have a moment, right? So, Rhea thinks that, you know, whomever these people are, okay, they are loving towards Sushant. And there are people that are after the roommates of Sushant. That's what I'm sensing. Those same murderers that doesn't want Sushant to get married are the one who wants to kill these people, the roommates of Sushant. And I feel like right now, one of the Samuels are trying to run away. That's what I'm sensing here. Because the life is threatened and doesn't want to talk to others but we'll check about it again on another reading now let's see with this theme so we got a never-ending story in reverse so i feel like you know um i, I feel like Samuel knows a lot. That's what I'm sensing all right so anyway with this one with the why here I feel like Rhea is trying to figure out where are the other roommates of Sushant, to be honest, so that this roller coaster ride will be over. Because these people will be somebody that will create victory over the case situation that Rhea didn't kill Sushant. Because obviously, if Sushant will get killed, you know, um, she will not have anyone to give her, right? 
So that's why she can't be the killer. So with the time to go in reverse, so I have a feeling here that Siddharth somehow is still there. And with a thinker being in reverse and a leg up. So I have a feeling here that she is still confused if ever Siddharth will speak that truth. I feel like she try not to think about it because there's a change in the wind that this guy okay is following the orders of the sisters not to speak the truth they're creating a distort so with this in both ways i'm sensing like um she's i feel like she's thinking like the friends of sushant is somehow um trying to trying to speak that's what i'm sensing and very confusing energy to be honest to begin with that's why she rather not speak she rather thinks that she can't rely on these people since they are being controlled over and watched over that's why they are not at peace and they can't speak their truth they can't be authentic they can't um be in their best self or have that self-confidence at least to speak because um, actually, if your life is threatened, you cannot speak the truth, right? So, is there anything else? So, the angel said to me that for Rhea, somehow she's aware that Siddhartha was threatened. And there's no way, of course, for the roommates to kill Sushant because it's still based on Rhea's perspective. You know, these roommates really love Sushant and they're not against the marriage of Sushant and Rhea, actually they're happy for their friend and what I'm seeing here is that um, sadly for Siddharth, you know, he's being controlled or manipulated and threatened. That's what she knows so far and she thinks that um, there needs to be protection to be made of and for Samuel, I think that Samuel is unapproachable um, right now. And they tell me the truth that Samuel is gone already. That's what the angels say. Is there anything else? And I want to cry. And it's too late because people have been seeing fake news everywhere. And that's the reason why murderers keep on running away. And sadly, you know, people still believe it's the false the false news that they have been following so is there anything else because these people believe on the fake lie that Sushant is alive so there's two some wells the others dead already um another key situation the angels say that the some well that's alive right now is hiding somewhere but one of the Samuels is dead already. That's what they want to say. And actually, the angels say the proofs never lie. And if Samuel really passed away, then these murderers really, really are in big trouble. Because they will know exactly that this is not suicide. And those whom are forcing that it's suicide will be questioned by the media, by the lawyers. And Sandeep will be fried and also Bollywood actually. Everyone is. And all eyes are on the media because the media will be the one who will speak, right? But I feel like there's a media out there that speaks the truth. I really feel there is. Okay, so is there anything else? They say that's it. So anyway, let's see about the next reading. So let's begin on with the second part, which is what Ankita knows with regards to this following people. So let's begin on what does she knows with regards to Rhea. So we'll see. Angels and guides, please provide guidance for the cards so we may know. What does Ankita knows with regards to Rhea? They show to us the overall theme of this reading. Thank you. Another shuffle they request. So let's begin. This is in both ways they tell.
this is up right they tell me so the archangel say to me that there's a lot of possibility that Ankita didn't realize yet. That's why she's going in with the flow and I feel like she's being authentic and honest so far in the interviews. Feels like she doesn't know anything about the conspiracy theories, etc. She just make assumptions that somehow, you know, the family of Sushan still thinks it's suicide but then i really feel like she's divinely guided to see the red flags and all so we'll check with the other cards angels and guides please provide guidance for the cards so we may know what does ankita know with regards to Rhea. another day request so i'm sensing unrequited love like she thinks that Sushant is smart and Sushant is just like Rhea for sexual benefits, the angels say. So the archangels also told me that Sushant is asleep during those times that he was with Rhea. Because I feel like, you know, Sushant was undergoing a um, process of kind of understanding his life better. Because I really feel like he was trapped in this love spell um, that Rhea put him. And I feel like Ankita kind of knows what's going on. Um... Because she thinks that Ray is not really a smart or somebody that is a wifey material to marry with another. Like, Ankita thinks that Raya was just all beauty, but not really someone that, that can match up Sushant. That's what she knows. And I feel like... Ankita was still hurting because Sushant didn't choose him. I'm sorry, I chose her as someone that he would marry. And she's still heartbroken with grudges about it. Like, um, I don't know if you noticed that in the video, but I really sense while watching her, like it feels like there's something within her that she wants to express but she can't express it that's what i'm sensing here like there's a burden in her heart that feeling that you know the person that you love didn't like you back okay that kind of hurt but i really feel like ankita is aware that sushant needs justice that's why you know she comes forth and speak on behalf of sushant And whatever she say right now is kind of misleading, but it brings comfort to all of us because it's still, you know, whatever she say is true and it contradicts somehow on the fake lies or the facade that some, some of, you know, the proof. Because I don't know if you're aware about this, guys, but there is certain, you know, messages that is fake because actually Sushant is not in a reach with the sisters for a year we may know what does Ankita knows with regards to Rhea another so one more shuffle they say Archangel Michael say that there's a lot of lingering eyes elsewhere. And then Kita is not prepared to know the truth. That's what I'm sensing here. Okay. So. 
So this is the overall energy that's affecting the reading, and it's either way, but it's wanting to turn reverse. But we will clarify with later. So this is the outcome. Actually, my my left hand hurts, so it means that you know Ankita has negativity with this person and i feel like as well as raya is kind of upset with ankita i don't know why but we will clarify all right angels and guides please provide guidance for the cards so we may know what's behind the cards presented here please help us clarify so we may be able to understand i feel like she's holding grudges against Rhea is what I'm sensing for about the bank account subsessions what I'm sensing here. How she mistreated Sushant and made him as a bank. Okay. Another day request. I feel like Ankita, Ankita thinks that their connection is unrequited love, wherein only one lover is in love and the other doesn't. Okay? So there could be a lot of fights involved because whenever a dog barks in my background, it means that there's a lot of fighting or arguments. So that's what Ankita thinks. Okay, so anyway, this is the overall energy that's affecting the reading. Obviously, with this Knight of Pentacles in both ways. So I feel like, yeah, Rhea really used Sushant for money purpose. That's what she thinks because supposedly Sushant is a stable man. But since Rhea came first in the picture, you know, um, Sushant has money issues. That's what she thinks. And with the Hermit and then Three of Swords. So I'm sensing here that still Sushant passed away. But I feel like there is still a hidden mystery. That's what Ankita thinks. Now let's see what else we got here. So with the Two of Wands in reverse. So all she knows is that um, Sushant really is someone whom doesn't want to communicate to past people especially her and obviously with family members that's why she really don't know what's going on unless she would watch um the media and so forth that's what she knows about okay and then what happened to the page of swords in reverse so i feel like this person knows um, about Rhea is that she thinks Rhea is someone that is not really an authentic person. That's what she thinks. That's, I feel like it's a part of mystery why Sushant fell for this person, even if this person is already deceitful. And then the next is the emperor in reverse. So what she thinks about Rhea is someone that really drains, okay, um, a good person that is stable into nothing. She she drains the money. That's what Ankita thinks, and she thinks that Sushant will never be happy with that kind of person whom is draining the money because once that she has everything, okay, she will fly away. And leave Sushant behind. So I feel like Ankita thinks that Raya should go behind bars for treating Sushant that way. Because I feel like the only one who's happy is actually Raya herself. That's what I'm seeing here. Okay. And I feel like with the Nine of Pentacles in reverse here. 
So, really, Ankita thinks that Rhea is not really somebody that's a wifey material. This person only thinks of her self-joy and happiness, not thinking about Sushant's abundance, not even caring about his bank account. That's what, you know, she see about Ankita, someone who drains the money because she herself don't know how to save money. Very childlike. Okay, that's what... And Kita feels like this person will just run away after you know Sushant is weak. That's what she knows so far with regards to this. And I think that she thinks that it's an it's Rhea who weakened, okay, who weakened Sushant. That's what Ankita thinks so far. And then the next is the the death is mysterious according to her own perspective because I feel like even um, Ankita can take it that this star will take his own life, okay? He, this Ankita knows that Sushant is somehow is somebody who kind of run away from, from the world whenever he is stuck, he is lonely, okay? And he's not someone who will have roommates around because I have a feeling here that Ankita thinks that during the time that they say that it's suicide, he has someone, right, around him. Okay, which is very strange for her. That's why I feel like Ankita doesn't believe it's suicide, okay? So the next is the Eight of Swords. So Ankita somehow is stuck, okay? I feel like she can't accept that Sushant passed away, okay? And she thinks that it's a part of the family because the family is acting very strange, to be honest. That I feel like she's also thinking about the family's actions, I feel like she thinks that the evidences are all destroyed. And I feel like um, with the Ten of Chalices being here. So I think that she can't judge so far of what she's feeling. And that's what I'm sensing because it's still questionable um, to why Sushant passed away. Okay, she just know that Sushant is being said that is not on the right mind of thinking. That's what she thinks. And with the three of chalices. Okay, so I feel like she's aware that the sisters of Sushant is distorting the truth. That's what she knows so far. Because it's the family of Sushant who really points out that it's suicide. Okay. And they are trying their best to hide the fact that it's murder. And it feels like they are running away from the truth. So with the ace of chalices and the death, I feel like she thinks that this family of Sushant don't want justice to be served, to be honest. But she's not just fighting the family about it. And with the hydrophant being in reverse here, I'm sensing like based on this case situation, she thinks that the family is against really partnership with regards to Sushant. That's what she knows so far. And let's see about the outcome. So the outcome is the moon in reverse. So I'm sensing like whatever she thinks about Rhea is obviously, you know, she thinks Sushant is not happy with Rhea because Sushant is somehow, um, I feel like stuck. That's what I'm sensing. Is stuck with Sushant. Okay. I feel here that uh, she don't know why is it that if ever Rhea is going away, like um, there's a third party situation, right? I feel like there is Mahesh in the picture here. Like Ankita thinks that Rhea is somehow two timer. Okay, that's what she thinks. But then, you know, Sushant keeps on coming back to Ankita. And that's what makes her cry. She she don't understand why Sushant loves Rhea with with this kind of you know um attitude. 
That's why she holds a grudge. I really sense that with this reading. And with the three of wands being in reverse here, so I'm really sensing like what she thinks is that there's a mystery, there's secrets there that she's not aware about. That's what she thinks because she's thinking that Rhea is somehow someone who didn't treat, you know, Sushant right. That's what Ankita thinks of Rhea. Like with the Eight of Wands, I'm sensing as well that she don't understand why is it, you know, um, Rhea somehow makes Sushant chase her with this world of sea. Sushant didn't put an ending to the cycle of, you know, their connection. Instead, you know, um, Rhea made so Shan proposed to her, right, for marriage. So I feel like um, Ankita questions a lot with her connection. But let's see what we have with the charms. they say so anyway here are the charms so what we have here is that she thinks that Rhea is immature to be honest okay because of overspending and she's aware that Sushant loves her that's why you know um she overspent okay but Sushant keeps a blindfold on um that you know Rhea is has been treating him like a bank okay so it's because of love that's why Sushant gave in and I feel like Ankita is angry with Rhea because of how she mistreated Sushant when Sushant was still alive and I feel like until now Ankita is sad about the death of Sushant and until now the case is not yet closed and I feel like with the journal here, so she's thinking of Rhea hiding a lot of journals or information about Sushan. She thinks that um, Rhea has a lot of, I feel like, files about Sushan. That's what she thinks. And with this one, I feel like it's um, kind of depressing because I really feel like she is a nurturer. Okay, um... I feel like Ankita thinks that she is a nurturer for Sushant, but not um, Rhea. That's what I'm sensing. So with this sweets, I have a feeling here that she finds Sushant very sweet and loving energy. And she thinks that Rhea is a fake. That's what she thinks. And this person somehow made a Sushant bent to his niece okay i feel like um in terms of bank account she thinks that um Rhea is actually very lucky okay that sushan treat her as an empress and with this loyal i feel like she thinks that um Rhea somehow made sushan very loyal that's what I'm sensing. And I'm sensing here that, you know, Ankita still remembers um, about a lot of memories. And she is very regretful if ever they did something wrong. Actually, she don't know what happened to their connection, why it fell apart. And with the butterfly being here, so... What I'm sensing here is that she thinks that Sushant is very foolish, um, that she did I'm sorry that he didn't change, okay? She she thinks that Sushant is somebody that falls in love due to beauty. He has high standards with regards to the beauty of women. That's what she thinks. And she thinks that Sushant is smart. But then Rhea, you know, somehow made him fall in love. Because I think that... Um, you know, um, Ankita thinks that there could be a poison 
or something that you know Rhea did so that Sushant will fall in love with her now with a star being here so yeah she see you know Rhea as a star but it's not because she's smart but it's because she is kind of pretty that's what she thinks so anyway let's see pretty with no brains the angels say how harsh okay so let's see with the cards here so let's see anyway with this card i'm sensing like ankita thinks about Rhea as somebody that's kind of chasing after men that has a lot of money gold digger is what she see okay and this Ankita is thinking that, you know, Rhea is trying her best to get out of the jail of whatever she did towards Sushant. And as you can see here, is that Ankita is angry with regards to Rhea because she thinks that Rhea is someone that is kind of creating this chaos in Sushant's life. And she thinks that Rhea is manipulating Sushant over and over again. And Sushant somehow needs to see that Rhea is really a bad influence. And I feel like, you know, Sushant fell into the trap of, you know, Rhea. Rhea's spell, the angels say. And that's why misfortune happened to him in the perspective of Ankita and Ankita thinks that Sushant really fell in love with Rhea that's what happened and during those times you know um Sushant still have this money this abundance but then sadly you know Rhea used him for money purpose and then this is what Ankita thinks okay Ankita thinks that Rhea took advantage of Sushant and then ran away that's what she thinks but then um, the angels say the universe is trying to make Ankita see the bigger picture of what really happened to Sushant why Sushant passed away and so forth and I feel like she see that Sushant is workaholic okay that's what she see but then sadly for him he was manipulated by Rhea according to Ankita's perspective. It's because of money. Okay. And she thinks that Rhea has um, money issues because of family. And I feel like Ankita thinks that Sushant really loves Rhea. That's why, you know, he's willing to give everything for, for Rhea. But I really feel like Ankita somehow is still stressed about their partnership. That's what I'm sensing. I feel like she's still trying to move on actually from Sushant. And I feel like she really don't want to talk or see about Sushant to be honest. But then since Sushant passed away, she has to. That's what I'm sensing here. Because I'm sensing like whatever she thinks about Rhea is that Rhea is someone who goes after people that, you know, achievers. That's what um, Rhea is because of the records. And I think that Ankita C is very angry with Rhea that she thinks that Rhea is the one who stole a lot from Sushant and then ran away. That's what she thinks. And she thinks that Rhea needs to be on jail because of what she did to Sushant. But yet, you know, Ankita doesn't know the real picture here. Okay. And I think that, you know, um, Ankita thinks highly about Sushant. That's what I'm sensing about. And I think that she hasn't seen yet whatever it is in the picture um, about the case situation of Sushant. She just based it on, you know, the media, the news. But I really feel here that, you know, she thinks that Rhea is somehow somebody that's not a good person for Sushant. And she sees this Rhea as someone who doesn't have a talent or somebody who can save abundance or money or wealth. That's what she sees on Ankita. I'm sorry, on Rhea. So Ankita's perspective is somehow this person still a performer. That's what she thinks. 
Okay, but she received a lot of messages from the divine that she must let go of ego and help Sushant about this gay situation. That's why she come first. And then I feel here that about, you know, Rhea, she thinks that Rhea is hiding a lot of secrets, okay, that she don't know about. And that's the reasoning why um, she wants to come forth. And I feel like and right now she's against Rhea, to be honest with you all. And until now, she has been crying about what happened to the bank account of Sushant because I feel like she's very angry with it, okay? To be honest with you, she thinks that because of Rhea, um, Sushant has problem with money. That's what she thinks. See how hurtful, she, how hurt she was when she she knows that, you know, Sushant will get married with... Raya and it's really hurting for Ankita too. So what does she see about Raya? She see Raya as somehow somebody that alone right now and depressed. That's how she see and look at how she's kinda snubbing Raya like she don't care okay about Raya at all. Because she's thinking like, you know, um, we lost a good person, we lost a star. That's what Ankita thinks. And I'm sensing here that somehow, you know, Sushant is already in a good place. That's how, you know, Ankita thinks rather than Sushant live a life with Rhea. That's what I'm seeing here. So I feel like, you know, with Rhea and Sushant, she thinks that they are not a good person to be with or they are not good couples because they will end up in argument. That's what I'm sensing. And she thinks that Rhea is so afraid of the people around her because people are upset of what she did to Sushant's bank account. And now she's crying about the mistakes that she did. And yeah, she's very depressed because she see finally how how foolish she have been treating Sushant. And Ankita somehow knows that, you know, Ankita is crying about it, okay? And Ankita wonders more about Rhea, what happened to their life while um Sushant was still living and it's still a question why Rhea ran away. And then Sushant got killed all right so let's see i'm sensing like the murderers wants to make it work like after Rhea leave the apartment sushant um, created a suicide but sadly you know i feel like this murderers is also trying their best to to hide the fact that they i feel like they accidentally murdered somebody else too during that time that's what i'm sensing i feel like um i feel like it's a failed actually planned murder even though they successfully killed sushan it's actually a failure because um actually they can't make it look like suicide because obviously with the ceiling height and sushan's height right away and they accidentally killed someone also during those times so We'll see about the theme. So we got truth be told in reverse. So what we get here is that what, you know, Ankita thinks about Raya is someone who's not honest, okay? Who's not an authentic person or the wrong person for Sushant. Because with a piece, I have a feeling here that she thinks that because of Raya, you know, um, the mindset of Sushant has changed. Okay, from no depression at all, from having depression. That's what she thinks. And obviously, she she also thinks that Rhea is not compatible with Sushant because Rhea is just after the money, but it's not really true love. That's why she sees Rhea as somehow not an honest person because she just loves Sushant because of money itself. Now, with the TikTok being here, so... Unfortunately, you know, um, Ankita thinks negatively because of the truth that happened, okay? That she, you know, wasted a lot of abundance of Sushant. And Sushant somehow is loyal to Rhea, even though Rhea keeps on hurting 
he knows Sushant's heart. And with the fates and yin, so I feel like Ankita still believe that she is the one for Sushant because she's the only one who cared for Sushant and she's the only one who showed Sushant what true love is. Okay, sadly for Sushant, she... She thinks that he ran away from her because, you know, a spell was casted because there is a yin here. Like he got attracted to, to Rhea instead of going back to Ankita. Until now, I really sense the jealousy that Ankita keeps to herself. So with this unfinished symphony, so it's already over now that Sushant was gone. So was she thinks about Rhea. She thinks that, you know, um, Rhea is someone that's not really hurt. That's what she thinks. Because Rhea already did what she has to do, okay? To be a gold digger, okay? To be someone who's like a leech, okay? Against people's growth. She took away money and now she regret it according to the angels. And then with this one, I'm feeling here that Ankita thinks that even though Rhea seems running away from her crime, she cannot run away from what she did because, you know, she made um, a star okay, to fall into depression. That is according to the perspective of Ankita. So is there anything else they say um, that's it for, you know, Rhea part, but let's see what else. Right, so let's see what does Ankita think about Sandeep. So let's see. Angels and guides, please provide guidance for the cards so we may know what does Ankita knows with regards to Sandeep. Please show to us the overall theme of this reading. Thank you. So unfortunately, this Ankita doesn't really um no a lot about sandeep i feel like she continue on thinking that sandeep was a good friend that's what i'm sensing about another so let's see but she's aware that sandeep is kind of flirtatious um i feel like she is kind of thinking of hmm I feel like she's not interested in him at all. Just as a friend, but she don't. She still loves Sushant. That's what I'm sensing. So we'll see with this card. Angels and guides, please provide guidance for the cards so we may know what does Ankita thinks about Sandeep. I feel like she thinks that Sandy has an affair with me too. That's what she thinks based on the videos and the photos that she has been seeing in the media. But unaware what's really going on because people questioned about them. Their actions especially um, with regards to Sushant's death. Like they are, they are weird. That's what I'm sensing. My head hurts a lot, so I feel like Ankita is realizing the true colors of Sandeep because I really feel like she questions why is it, you know, Sandeep was on the crime scene um, and they are not that close anymore. That's what I'm sensing as well. And I feel like, you know, um, Sandeep really is someone that's hiding a lot of things right now and she is kind of keeping a check on Sandeep because she's thinking like what if Sandeep will kill her and etc. So let's see. So I really feel like she don't trust. I feel like she thinks that Sandeep is kind of guilty. But let's see with the tarot, angels and guides, please provide guidance for the cards so we may know 
what does Ankita knows with regards to Sandeep? Let's see. Another shuffle, they say. So we'll see. Another day request. I feel like there's unrequited love between some. Sushant and Sandeep because I feel like Sushant don't want Sandeep anymore in his life. I feel like they have a, an argument, okay? Um, that's why Sandeep is not anymore in Sushant's life. And I feel like Ankita is kind of depressed, uh, having anxiety and worry that Sandeep could have killed Sushant because of that kind of argument. I feel like San Ankita knows about it. And I feel like it's more on about, I feel money situation and also, um, Sushant is kind of regretful actually about Sandeep. I really sense that there's something, um, hidden here and Ankita knows that. And that's the reason why Ankita's life is, you know, um, is at risk. She's aware that, you know, if this guy has a possibility to kill Sushant, what more is, you know, this guy will kill her. So anyway, this is the overall energy that's affecting the reading and this is the outcome. So unfortunately, you know, um, this person, Ankita, is thinking like, she was a sister for Sandeep. So we will clarify. Angels and guides, please provide guidance for the cards. So we may know what's behind the cards presented here. Please help us clarify so we may be able to understand. So the angel say to me that Ankita knows exactly that this person, Sandeep, is somehow into money as well. He's money-driven much more than you know um so shant like a greedy person the angels say and another shuffle they say one more they tell okay so let's see Archangel say to me that there's a lot of regrets about um, Sandeep because I feel like you know um, Sandeep holds a lot of grudges with regards to Sushant that's what Ankita thinks because Sandeep likes Ankita too and I feel like there is a fight between Sushant really with Sandeep and that's the reason why Ankita was thinking probably Sandeep has killed Sushant because look at that, okay? I feel like Sandeep is another reason why, you know, Ankita and Sushant break up, okay? Because of these two people involved in the life of Ankita. And then with the Seven of Swords in reverse, so I'm really feeling that she really don't really have... um like let's say one thing for for sandeep that's what i'm sensing she's more on drawn to sushant obviously because they are lovers see that and i feel like with sandeep she thinks that sandeep wants it with her and i feel like sandeep keeps on coming back and forth in ankita's life that's why she's aware that sandeep still has crush on her Okay, and with the Queen of Wands, I feel like she is um, kind of um, being forced with this Queen of Wands by this King of Chalices, alright? So, the next is a Knight of Pentacles. So, I feel like for Ankita, she's still in love with Sushant, to be honest. That's why she's not looking forward with Sandeep. 
That's what I'm sensing because she was thinking or I feel like she's kind of gathering some evidences. She's not really interested with Sandeep, obviously. With the Ace of Wands, she don't want a new beginning. All right, so with the Three of Chalices and the Ten of Swords. So I feel like this person, Ankita, still figuring out whom really killed Sushant and wondering why the family is kind of you know, hiding something from the death of Sushan. and see how the family is protecting um, information about the death of Sushant. And I feel like that is what she's focused on actually. And she let go of Sandeep because she's not really happy with Sandeep. She don't see herself being in a relationship with him because she realized now that, you know, this Sandeep could kill. That's what she thinks. And with the three of ones being here, so I feel like gathering the evidences or what she gathered information so far is that Sandeep could have really is another person who killed Sushant because obviously, you know, Sandeep is not really into, you know, Ankita having partnership with Sushant. So the next is the judgment here. So I really feel like, you know, um, Ankita thinks that Sushant deserves justice and she thinks that she knows Sandeep already by knowing that, you know, he could kill someone. Because she don't even see the worthiness of Sandeep, okay? Sandeep in her eyes is someone as an emperor reverse. What do you mean by that? Someone who's not standing in his power. Someone who could be submissive. And I feel like Sandeep has slip tongues during that interview. That's what she discovered. But she, she see that Sandeep didn't fall into, you know, admitting the mistake or admitting this murder or what happened to Sushant. So anyway, let's see with the outcome, but she finds it very suspicious according to the angels. So with the Queen of Pentacles, she's aware that if ever Sandeep will come forth, you know, she will be very defenseless. That's what she thinks. And with the judgment in reverse, I feel like what she did right now is to put her guard up walls up against Sandeep. Like, she's not, you know, letting other people in, even Sandeep. Meaning she closed the door, right? So, the next outcome is the Ace of Pentacles in reverse. So, what I'm sensing here is that what she knows about Sandeep, Sandeep is someone who's money-driven, of course, but I really feel like, you know, this is turning in upright. I don't know why. Probably because this is the current energy of her. Like she is focused on her own coin or on her own family life. Okay, she really don't want Sandeep in her life. That's what she is doing. Because I really feel with this four of chalices, Sandeep wanna knock on the door and wanna persuade her to love him okay and with the nine of wands and the strength so she is afraid of Sandeep to be honest with you she's afraid that Sandeep might kill her okay and she will be defenseless that's why she closed the door towards Sandeep and I don't know why this is in reverse lately probably Sandeep thinks that he can still go um go towards Ankita but I think that Ankita somehow put the walls up against Sandeep. So, anyway, let's see with the charms. I feel like he he is somebody who is kind of chasing or um, running in circles, what I'm sensing. So, we'll check with the charms. All right, so one more data. All right, so anyway, these are the charms. So I'm sensing here that Sandeep somehow, in terms of media, okay, um, she's thinking like Sandeep is not being honest, not being authentic. Like they're somehow hidden in the media that he didn't tell about. And he don't, 
this person really is someone that's down like for her eyes okay she thinks that sandeep is somehow not a good person to begin with and someone that is the ace of pentacles in reverse like um hasn't accelerated yet like sushant okay she she sees sandeep as lower than sushant so what i'm trying to tell so with this one i'm really sensing like this is what she's afraid of that sandeep might you know take advantage of her or pull her strings and with this one i'm really sensing like she thinks that sandeep is hiding something from the media because i really feel like ankita somehow is so a smart person and she wants justice for sushan that's why she's figuring out some some of the evidences as you can see here who really killed sushan and so far what ankita discovered is that you know the sisters or the family of sushan kind of hiding something from the facts that this is a murder and she's questioning why is it the sisters or the family of sushant is kind of making it look like a suicide rather than murder itself okay so ankita somehow is standing in her power that she believes she loves sushant okay and then with this um lucky cut i really feel like you know um she see herself as someone whom is lucky to have sushant but i really feel like this guy um sandeep is somehow lucky before to have sushant too but then this person is very immature or i feel like a cause of fight between them so i feel like there's a big argument between sushant and kita and sandeep i feel like it's kind of third party situation but we'll see what else we got here so anyway with this one so what does you know ankita thinks of sandeep so somehow ankita thinks that sandeep is kind of um what do you call this not really participating or confusing the public about really the issue with regards to sushant that's what i'm sensing and i feel like you know um she thinks that sandeep is kind of someone who's kind of running away that's what i'm sensing she's still watchful over sandeep to be honest because she wants to know about what happened to sushant why is it you know sandeep somehow is in inside that you know the roller coaster or what happened to sushant that's what i'm sensing here and i feel like you know she's aware that sandeep was in love with her and sandeep doesn't want her to get married with sushant that's why she was thinking that probably you know sandeep is the one who killed sushant because honestly speaking you know ankita really don't know what happened okay after the breakup don't know they just i feel like he i can hardly express myself okay i really feel here that you know that is the impression that sandeep gives that he's very inaccurate okay so i'm really sensing like with this tones here with this gold so it has a connection with the ace of pentacles that he's not really good with money that's how ankita see it and obviously you know um sandeep is somehow kind of running away from the crowd um ever since sushant died i feel like ankita is kind of watchful over whatever this person has been saying in media and i feel like she tried to put the puzzle pieces together and she also questions the family of sushant with regards to the fallout of the star okay and then with this one i'm sensing that sandeep is somebody who killed sushant that's what her thinking is okay like um sushant could have fallen into the trap of sandeep that's why you know um sushant passed away and i feel like you know this is what she thinks about sandeep okay he's running away from the crime that he did and she thinks that sandeep is somebody who can murder and she thinks that sandeep was being controlled over by somebody 
That's what she thinks of Sandeep. And she's thinking like it could be Rhea. That's what she thinks. Okay. And I feel like since、um, the death of Sushant, um, she thinks that Sandeep could be a bad person. That's why she keeps on, you know, um, kind of having this look or being observing, you know, Sandeep and everyone else and even the friends of Sushant. And she knows exactly that Sandeep is hiding something and trying to confuse the media. I feel like she's mad at Sandeep because I really feel like she suspects that Sandeep is the one who, who drains Sushant or kills Sushant. That's what she thinks. So, anyway, let's see with the theme that we got here. I can't hardly express myself. Probably the real、um, Sandeep, the energy of him, is somehow he can't express himself, right? So, anyway, these are the theme. So, you got the young in reverse. So, I'm sensing like, you know, Ankita is kind of suspecting Sandeep as somehow who killed Sushant, obviously, in the readings and no place like home. So, she thinks that Sandeep was still into her. Okay, Sandeep still thinks that she is a wifey material, but then, you know, Ankita d o n t really like him. That's why she, she tried to wash away. But then this is in either way. So I feel like somehow, sometimes Ankita thinks this way. Sometimes she wants to accept, but she's very indecisive, to be honest, and flexible in reverse. So she thinks that she is not compatible with Sandeep. I feel like, you know, she, she doesn't like him, to be honest, because Ankita is into Sushant and not into Sandeep at all. She's kind of ignoring Sandeep somehow. And she's very cautious over him because she was still thinking that this person could have killed Sushant. And. The angels say that she s t a r t to realize something about Sandeep and the others, and she's focusing too much on the crime scene, and that's the reasoning why she kind of detached from everyone else. And the angels say, even though you see Ankita kind of what they call this going in with the flow, she's hiding. She's hiding. What she's doing. What she's doing is that she's trying to figure out who really did this to Sushant, okay? So, Sushant may have some justice. So, is there anything else? They say,、um, with regards to this reading,、uh, the angels say that Vanessa f e e l very nervous because that is how she f e e l about Sandeep. Like, she's very nervous that Sandeep may take away her life. So, is there anything else, angels? They say that's it, so let's begin with the last one. I forgot to add up, you know, this for Sandeep. So, anyway, let's see. Okay, I'm just gonna do this if I ask for one particular person. So, in this case, situation, we ask only one person. So, we'll see. Angels and guides, please provide guidance for the cards so we may know. What does Ankita think about Sandeep? Another. I feel like she thinks that Sandeep betrayed Sushant by killing him. I feel like it's murder case against Sushant and Sandeep. And Rhea got involved, that's what she thinks, because she's also thinking what will benefit Rhea. Um, for killing Sushant. Whenever she thinks about Sandeep. And one more. So let's see. Ankita is a wise person, according to the angels. This is reverse, they tell. Read it intuitively, so yeah. You gonna read it intuitively.
Okay, so that's all. All right, so we got Detective River. So I'm really sensing here that this person is somehow who's hiding secrets, obviously. Okay, not showing his true colors. That's what he th I'm sorry, she thinks about him, about Sandeep. So we describe, so obviously, you know, He's trying to distort his statements. That's how she knows so far. And with the student and Messiah, I'm really sensing that she is kind of divinely guided, okay, on how to see Sandeep. That's what I'm seeing here. Divinely guided to see the truth about this person. And with the father, I'm sensing like Sushant is kind of somebody who teaches Sandeep. But Sandeep is somehow whom is not an upright person, somehow very different from Sushant. That's what she thinks about Sandeep. And this person with a mystic in reverse, I'm really feeling that there's something off with this person. That's what she's thinking. Like she, this person can't even express during the time that he was being asked on by the lawyers. That's why she's thinking that this person is yes, hiding something. Okay, she is watching over, you know, every move of everyone. That's what Ankita has been doing. And with the God reverse, so she thinks that this person is somehow not a spiritual person. Destroy a reverse, and she thinks that this person is a murderer, a rebel, and somebody who's in love with Ankita, obviously. See? So I really feel like she suspects that because of, you know, um, his love for Ankita, he killed Sushant. That's what she thinks. See? She thinks that there is someone that is... um. I feel like she don't know that somebody is also sending messages to Sandeep. She's not aware. But she thinks that there could be some other people involved. She just see that, you know, Sandeep is somehow one of the killers, okay? So, is there anything else? They say that's it. So, anyway, let's proceed on to the next. Alright, so let's see about the last question. So we'll see how Ankita view the family of Sushan. So we'll see. Angels and guides, please provide guidance for the cards so we may know. What does Ankita think with regards to the family of Sushan? Please show to us the overall theme of this reading. Thank you. Another shuffle, they say. So we'll see. One more shuffle, they tell. Okay. This is in both ways. To be honest, this person don't know what to think about. Because obviously, you know, she has a bond with the family of Sushant and so since Sushant passed away, she's thinking like she don't know what to do if she's kind of confused with the reality. So let's check with these cards, angels and guides. Please provide guidance for the cards. So we may know what does Ankita thinks about Sushan's family. Another shuffle, they say. I feel like, you know, um, she was still deeply hurt about the loss of Sushant. That's what I'm sensing. And that's why she's kind of going in with the flow, checking the media, and liking whatever she wants to like. Kind of like a drunk and Kita mode, to be honest. Even in the interview, I see that she is kind of... Not in, in the mood, okay? Though we see her as a strong person that at least, you know, she show herself. But I'm really sensing that there is something. She feels drowsy, to be honest. Like, hmm, something is off with her. When I last viewed the life. Now, let's see with the Taros, what it has to say. Angels and guides, please provide guidance for the cards so we may know 
What does Ankita know with regards to the family of Sushant? Another shuffle, they say. One more, they tell me. Another shuffle, they request. So, we'll see. One more. Another. I really feel drowsy. I don't know why. I wonder if she keeps on drinking. Hmm, very strange. Probably because she's sad, depressed. We can't blame her. One more. Okay. Another, they say. They shuffle a lot because of the distort still is still up. That we're gonna have a hard time to basically read about this. And suddenly my heart is pumping. Okay, I don't know why. Pumping heart, alright? So this is the overall energy that's affecting the reading. And this is the outcome so i have a feeling here that ankita somehow one more detail ankita somehow is you know receiving hunches from the divine because we all know that ankita is somehow you know we believe the same thing like um she believed in jesus she believed on the same god that i believe in so i feel like this person is spiritual that's another reason why Actually, our God, you know, um, communicate to us through our heart by hunches, okay? And if ever God is warning us about a certain individual, we cannot have a strong hunch that we shouldn't be dealing with certain people. Because based on my experience, guys, okay, when I found somebody that is kind of like a sun deep vibe, okay, a deceitful person, the first time I saw her, I have a hunch, a strange hunch that I haven't felt with anyone else. So I'm sensing like the heavens trying to stop me from being friends with that person. And do you know what? That person is deceitful. That person steals your lover. Okay, that's how deceitful that woman is. So anyway, let's see. So we will clarify angels and guides. Please provide guidance for the cards so we may know what's behind the cards presented here. Please help us clarify so we may be able to understand. So as I, far as I can sense, okay, as I'm shuffling the cards, guys, my heart continues on like pumping like crazy, like I'm nervous or there's something up. Probably this is how Ankita feels whenever, you know, she see a posting about family. There's something uneasiness inside her heart. But we'll see. I think that God tries to communicate with her through the hunches. She receives some signs as well according to the angels. But she doesn't like it. She seems not open about it because she she doesn't understand. That's what I'm sensing as well. That's why the angels say Ankita is kinda drinking because she she can't um she can take it. Like imagine, okay. Imagine guys, if ever, you know, those people, okay, that continue on blaming the Bollywood mafia so forth. Okay, continue blaming and then suddenly imagine it that the truth came out. Like it's a reverse, it's a twist. What will people react? Okay, it's hard to digest, right? And that is how Ankita's feeling. Like she's having a hard time to digest about it. So another shuffle saying you regress. Digest the truth that the divine has shown to her. So Let's see. She's having a hard time to digest it, according to the angels. Because she can't believe it her eyes. <laughs> that, you know, that pointing finger of heaven's divine or heaven's grace towards the signs. 
pointing her towards the murderers, but still she can't accept it. And we all know that Ankita is kind of like Sushant, very stubborn, right? Like the, the people around that, you know, continue on believing the wrong information. So anyway, this is the overall theme of this reading or energy, okay? So what I'm sensing here is that with regards to the family of Sushant, I have a feeling here that she is still passionate about being closer to them like i feel like she's running away from whatever the divine has been telling her look how she's avoiding it okay that's why with the wheel of fortune in reverse i feel like you know she doesn't listen okay i'm not saying that she is not um intuitive or she is far away from god it's that whenever god gave her a sign she distract herself like she will say no way it's not true i'm i'm really you know close to these people that's why she can't digest it okay so anyway first card is the eight of cups so obviously you know she's finding a way to figure out what happened to sushant because until now she haven't recovered yet from the loss and she thinks that you know there's something that's going on and i'm really feeling that what she see about the family of sushant is that they are someone whom just let go of sushant and move on and doesn't what they call this doesn't wait anymore for investigation and so forth they just want to close the door towards you know the towards the possibility that there will be a justice here so that's what she thinks about the family of sushant now with the queen of swords being in reverse so she really have hearts with regards to the family it's because she's close to sushant during those times and she didn't lie actually in the media that she's close to the family okay and then with this king of pentacles i really feel like you know this family of sushant is somehow hiding their secret that they are a part of you know the crime you know she just see them as somehow um, a family of sushant kind of traditional vibe okay and with the moon being here so i feel like she doesn't know that these people are not really a good person to be with okay they are karmic they are toxic and so forth they are unfriendly you know that's the secret that this family hides and with the ten of wands being in reverse so she's having a hard time to digest what the divine has been telling her okay she want to release herself from whatever the divine truth or intervention that is happening in her or epiphanies she she don't want to hold on to it and that's what i'm sensing so that's why she's kind of drinking and out of herself that can't believe her own eyes about what her intuition is telling her or what the heaven does tell now with the knight of swords in reverse so i really feel like she thinks that the family is kind of you know um thinking that it's not murder and she wonder why why is it they're not using their logic that's what she thinks and she thinks that this family is kind of heartless about this death because of their actions like um like they seem don't care the angels say and she don't understand that kind of action because with the nine of swords in reverse here so i'm really feeling that um actions speak louder than words and this is what she she thinks of okay and that she's being drained over what she's thinking to be honest and with the full being here and the knight of swords so i have a feeling that you know the divine is trying to warn her trying to tell her that these people cannot be trusted but still she's fighting whatever the heaven is telling her even though there are signs okay she's still stuck on the same standards on this you know um traditional thing that she thinks that she should be closer to the family of sushant because they are family of you know 
her lover, right? So kind of like Libra vibe, like closer to everyone, like even though they are not healthy for you. So let's see with the outcome. I don't know actually um, the sign of, you know, um, Ankita. I just sense Libra vibe, but I didn't say it's her Sojak. Okay. So anyway, this is the outcome. So you got the Ace of Pentacles reverse. So what we have here, guys, is that this person thinks that the family is hiding a lot of things from the media. And she was hoping that these people will, you know, will not close the door towards the truth because the angels say that Ankita is thinking and thinking heavily about this um, death of Sushant, doesn't know really what to do, what what happened, okay? She just wants the justice to come forth because there's a lot of distort and that's why she's searching for herself what's really happened here. She's even browsing a lot of medias. And the angels say that Ankita also watched this channel, but she doesn't know exactly what to believe in. And then with the eight of wands being in reverse, so I don't know what's wrong. Probably she really don't want to believe in whatever the divine is pointing on to. So I feel like what she thinks about the family is that um, they're not taking an action so that Sushant may get justice. Actually, she thinks that the family is really somehow not feeling like a homey vibe, to be honest. And she's thinking like they keep on blaming Rhea, but she was hoping that they may take an action with regards to the death of Sushant and not just, you know, um, thinking about what Rhea did to Sushant's life. Because she feel uneasy. She feel like there's something missing. There's something going on with a hermit in reverse. Hermit in reverse means that she was thinking that the family moves, um, moves to close the case right away. And she don't understand that. Like, she feel like there's something wrong. There's something that can't be explained yet or so forth. So I feel like she's really in question about the death of Sushant. I feel like she have strange hunches with regards to this family. Because God is protecting her from them. But then this person is not listening, not waking up. And let's just hope that she will wake up. She may accept the divine guidance. Because I feel like in her life, you know, she has been given a lot. But then she doesn't listen. And the angels say that she even watched this channel. But then, you know, she is still kind of... I don't know with her. Okay. Hard to digest, right? But it's the truth. Even the people that believe it's Bollywood, once the truth came out, oh dear. They th these people will think that Bollywood paid again the lawyers. Because they can take the truth from coming out. So that's why the angels say little by little the truth is coming out because... The lawyers, people are aware that people cannot digest the truth. So little by little, it's being proposed or it's being known to the world. Like even though it's a slow process, the angels say the cons of it is that it will not be what they call this. It will not be hard to digest because example, you know, um, someone passed away, let's say. Okay, and you want to tell to this person that somebody passed away. Okay, so you can tell that straight away and then heart attack, right? You have to slowly say that or do another thing around, especially if that person is not yet ready to know the truth, right? So anyway, here is the charms. So we got this one. So I feel like she is thinking that the family is acting strange. That's what she thinks. Because there's something hidden, like she's very uncomfortable. And she felt thrown on questioning and questioning a lot of things about this family. Why is it the family thinks it's suicide and not murder? Actually, that makes her question a lot, okay? And she thinks that, you know, um, this family is somehow a good 
you know, good company. That's what she thinks because she has memories with the family of Sushant. Okay, but sadly, you know, they are toxic, but she doesn't know about it. Like, she seems not to care. Okay, and honestly speaking, she's still kind of wounded about Sushan's death. Until now, she has been, you know, healing herself. And then with this one, she's undecisive with the true colors of the family, according to the angels. And she's aware that the media is distorted. That's why she, you know, kind of be a detective herself so that she can figure it out. And I feel like she is wise enough, but then sadly, you know, there's a part of her that's being eaten by ego, by pride. That's why she can't see the truth. Like, even if the divine will say these things, she's not accepting to it because she has love for the family of Sushant. She's a loving energy and, you know, she, she loves the family. She's loyal to the people around her. Okay, sounds like Sushant vibe, okay? Like, but very different because Sushant managed to change seams, right? And managed to run away from toxic people, to be honest with you. But this person, okay, Ankita somehow keeps everyone around. That's a problem with her. She really needs to be mature to accept only those people that are as nurturer as she is, okay? And I'm sensing, like, with this Empress, the crown, this one of fall out. So, I'm sensing, like, for her perspective, the family is kind of rich, okay? That's what she thinks. And she's very emotional, to be honest, still about the death of Sushant. And she keeps on reading um, a Bible, the angels say. But the Bible keeps on speaking the same thing to her, okay? Trying... I feel like she uses the Bible as an oracle book, okay? Like, um, she will hold the Bible like this, and then she will browse random pages, okay? And if a page just came up, it's about the clue, but then she don't want it, okay? She don't accept that. So, I'm sensing, like, you know, she's still daydreaming of having this with Sushant, but then um, it's just a dream now, and she's really unhappy, and I feel like the Divine is trying to pull her towards the truth, but, you know, she has a burden of memories, okay, with the family, that's why she can't, you know, accept even though the divine is kind of helping her out because with the star, I feel like the divine is, you know, giving her the light towards the shadow that there's something wrong. And she has been drinking, I feel, and I really feel drowsy with her. So with the sweet, I feel like she's very sweet with this family, to be honest with you. And with a butterfly and this one, so... Um, the angels say that this Ankita is trying to be um, wise, okay? She is still in this transfiguration period. What do you mean by that? She's a divine feminine, to be honest. And in the spiritual growth, you know, there is a time to be like this one, to be someone whom is still growing into spirituality because she's still there, okay? She's there now that she's spiritual, right? And she's accelerating, but she's not yet there because her pride is getting the best of her, the memories and so forth. She's not submissive towards the information that the divine is given to her. So she's in accession process, but she needs to figure out how to lower down her pride and be accepting towards what the divine is trying to give to her. And it's for her own good. The angels say, because if she doesn't listen, then she will just, you know, um, it will just backfire on her, according to the angels. And um, they say on their best, they're trying to warn people, especially Sushant, when Sushant was still alive. Sushant has been given a chance to survive if only he listened. Okay, but he doesn't listen. And what happened is that he fall into the trap of those people that tried to kill him. So anyway, here is, you know, the cards. You got this one. So I feel like, you know, she see this person or these people are one of her tribe or friends. That's what 
that's what she thinks, but I can't hardly express, okay, towards this. I don't know why. Probably because she was um, kind of still learning about these people and the divine somehow is giving her clues about these people and the divine is asking her, release yourself from them. Okay, and then find the clue about the death of your partner or Sushant. Okay, that's what they want to say. But then this person, okay, can't digest that. Like even though, you know, the divine is kind of trying to rescue her. She is stuck. She has been receiving a lot of signs and even strong hunches. That's what I sense. Okay, remember on the beginning of this reading. So anyway, let's see with this, all right, with the theme. So for the theme, we see that, you know, even if after the fallout of the breakup, you know, she still care about the family of Sushant, but with a co-create and thinker, I have a feeling here that, you know, the divine is kind of telling her um, about this, okay? The divine is kind of stopping her from going back towards the family of Sushant. That's what I'm sensing. Because with the yin in both ways, so, you know, this feminine really loves the family, but then the heaven is trying to tell, hey, you know, this family is different. You know, they are the one who kills Sushant, but then look at her. Does she listen? No, she doesn't. And the heaven is protecting her. But um, if ever Ankita keeps on going this way, they say, um, the angels say there will be something that will happen. That's what they want to say. They will not let Ankita run away from the truth, of course, because she's being divinely guided, protected. But if in their end they don't do anything, um... The divine will push you, the angels say. What do you mean by that? Okay, I will give you an example, guys. Okay, so honestly speaking, if the divine don't want you with the karmics, because it happened to me in my life, I have been in a relationship for nine years with a karmic connection. And honestly, I thought that I will be there forever because I was married with that guy and my family was traditional. So what happened is that, you know, um, one day when there's an argument between me and the family because they're trying to steal my child. I fight for my child and then this, you know, father of my ex-husband hurt me physically. And on those night, I was crying because they took my child away from me. Angels came to my room and said, pack your things and leave the house. And that's what I did. So basically, the divine will push you away from toxicity, from people that is not really meant for you. And for the people that question why is it your son is not with you, to be honest with you, it's only me who's fighting okay, about this problem and my family doesn't support me and they say I'd rather be shutting up, okay, to avoid this kind of circumstances that I may get into. And that's the reason why I don't have my son. But yet, the sad part is that they're still trying to, you know, um, what they call this, make me responsible for some of my son's fees, and yet they're not really giving me my son, which is very annoying, okay? So is there anything else? So the angels say to me that those people that are, you know, not really for you, God will make a way for you to be away from those people. And during those time that the angels ask you to do that, you have to follow. Because if you don't follow, um, the angels say there's something that's gonna happen. Just like what happened to Sushan's case. That's what they want you to do. So if divine intervention really happened to your life, follow it, the angels say. It's a surprise event, but yet, you know, God will find a way to, you know, make you away from toxicity. 
so that you won't get hurt anymore, so that you may have、um, the angels say a new life or follow the flow of the divine or what the divine asks you to do in this world. Because to be honest, guys, if I'm stuck there, I cannot do my mission work, okay? I cannot be here in YouTube and doing these things for you all. So, I think that I have to encounter that difficult situation because I need to be there for people who also encounter the same pain. Okay, so is there anything else? That's why I don't really like, you know,、um, people that are manipulative because of what happened to my son and me, that、um, it created a distort that I wasn't able to regain my son because of this kind of people. Um, is there anything else? And they say to me that actually Sushan came forward to those people who will understand his situation because the angels say those kind of people will get it why Sushan really needs justice, okay, and will understand further about the situation that he has, why he was killed. And so forth, because if you're somebody who m is not into, you know, those k i n d of things, you will not get it. You will just do the job because for the sake of, you know, your own personal gain. And you will not be somebody that's empathic, the angels say. So, and you will make fun of whatever happened to Sushant, but it's not really fun, guys. Being in a karmic toxic People, it's not fun at all. It's a living, you know, a living burden in this world, to be honest with you all. So, is there anything else? They say that's it. So, anyway, guys, thank you for watching and sending you all peace, love, and light. Bye.